Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden, and I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today is hashtag Kathy Sewing Happiness, in which we'll have our drawing at the end of the video. But first, let's have our shout out to number one angel 66, Juana, Love and Light, Carolyn, Joyce, Lala Gamma, Mags, Emma, Diane, Mid, and Nyree. I appreciate each and every one of you. I'm going to set this aside. I'll have a drawing at the end. So what I've done here is I have mounted some cardstock. No, I have mounted some book page on some cardstock. And you can have this project any size that you want. So I am going to actually fold this to be about a little short, shorter than three inches wide by about four inches tall. I'm going to bring in my guillotine just to shape it up. I have quite a few that I'm going to show you at the end that I have made so you can see what they look like as well. So you know that we have made lots of these wax seals and this project we are going to make a pocket and a tag using these wax seals for our decoration. I think this will be so much fun and I've had a great time making these. So we have got our cardstock which has our book page over the top bolded and now we're just going to round the corners. This is a simple project as you guys know I don't really do anything too tough. So <laughs> it's very simple easy and so much fun. So now we've rounded the corners and I am just going to quickly ink this up while I tell you what hashtag Kathy Sewing Happiness is. It is just spreading happiness towards other people and when you spread your act of kindness towards another you tell me the short version in the most recent hashtag Kathy Sewing Happiness video because there is a drawing at the end of each Kathy Sewing Happiness video and the winner will receive happy mail from me to you as my way of paying it forward. That's if you send me your address because a lot of people are forgetting to check back if they enter, like if they enter this week's drawing. They need to check back next week to see if I pulled their name out of the fishbowl and then they send me their address. So don't forget that if you enter, check back next week just to see if you've won. So now let's go ahead and let's apply our glue because we're making a pocket only onto three sides right here. I'm using my Tombow glue and so we've applied it. I'm just going to press it down. I am going to put a couple paper clips on here just to hold it closed while we make our tag. So I have some scraps. I've been trying to use up my card stock uh, little scraps and so I have a few here. So let's see, since this is a neutral color, the color of the tag is going to depend on which little wax seal we use. So that would be beautiful on there. There's a beautiful blue one, and here's a beautiful peachy pink one, and here, I don't have a yellow, I think I've used all my yellows, black might be pretty on there, or maybe a green, uh, there's this green, that's really pretty on there as well. So let's see, which one do we want to make? I think we should make this pink one. So let's put all this away and let's go ahead and let's make our tag to go inside of our pocket. So as you know when you apply glue to a piece of paper it spreads. So let's go ahead and make our little tag smaller than our pocket so it will fit inside so I've marked that and I'm just going to trim it and I'm just going to 
make everything kind of straight. We also are going to need to see if it fits into our pocket. I think I'll have to cut a little bit off the top. So let's see how this does. Yes, we'll have to cut a little bit off the top. Just like that. And next, let's go ahead, take it back out, and let's round the corners of our little lighting tag right here. And we're going to need to ink it very quickly. Just around here, like this. And this one isn't coffee dyed, so we'll just do this. Just to give it a little color on the back. Here's my little scrap that was left over when I folded this. So I'm going to bring in my tab punch and I am going to punch out two tabs to go on to my tag. So get this in here. Oh, come on now. It's not too bad. And let's put it on this side. There we go. Now we have our tab and we're going to need to quickly take our vintage photo and we're going to need to ink it up. So here we go. Just like that. Simple, simple. And I'm going to bring in my Tombow glue and I'm going to place this label or this tab onto my tag. Like this. Now you can decorate this tag if you wish. In this video I'm not going to, but you can if you want to. Decorate it a little more than just a tab on the top. There we go. Alright, now that's going to fit right inside of our pocket. There, I got it right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's going to look absolutely adorable. Now, we decided to use this pretty pink. And I have some hemp cord that we're going to use. And I have a little scrap of lace. So, I am going to actually trim this lace down just a little bit more. So I don't want it to cover all of my book page. I'm going to bring in some fabric tack and I am going to apply my fabric tack onto my pocket and I'm going to lay my lace on the top. Just like that. Just lay it right on top. Then I'm going to get some of my cording and I'm going to get myself a little piece a little um, what am I trying to say I'm not even sure just a little piece right here and then we're going to wrap it around twice and then I'm going to trim it off giving myself a little extra okay so now we have this I'm going to place this one underneath both of these and then I'm going to knot it and I'm going to make a knot right here on the my left of this like this and I'm going to make a knot okay and I kind of want to show that there's two so I'm going to separate them a little bit like that so they're separated and I'm going to get my little um, wax seal. Now you can put a label on here too if you'd like. I, I have not. I have just made them kind of plain like this. Now earlier I was using a hot glue gun but my hot glue gun got really hot and it started melting my wax seals. So I switched to E2000 glue. So that is what I'm using right now. And I found that I'm using the E2000 glue 
I need to put a little paper clip on there to hold it in place so that it really gets stuck nicely. Now let me show you this one. This is a beautiful yellow one. Isn't that beautiful? With a green string. And there's the tab for that one. Here's a beautiful pink one. Oh my goodness, did we paint the top of that? No, we didn't. Let's paint the top of this. What color should we paint the top? Um, we have these pins, and these pins are Office Trend is the name, and they're metallic color pin. Let's go ahead and color this a gold. So you just lightly color on top of the raised portion of the wax seal. And it does need to dry for a few minutes, but that just really sets it off nicely, doesn't it? That changes the whole look, the whole look. Here's one that the seal is a black with a purple, and so I used a purple tie, and then it has this little tag inside. Here's another green one, and I love this shiny inside here. I think that's beautiful. And then here's a beautiful lavender with a gray color on the raised portion. And this is the tag for that. And here's another steel, steel blue one with the gold. Oh, you guys, I absolutely love these. Okay, let's go ahead and let's get to our drawing to see who has one happy mail from me to you as my way of paying it forward for helping me spread happiness. So the winner is, don't forget to send me your address. My email is down below. And the winner is Dawn Higgins. Dawn, you have one happy mail from me to you as my way of paying it forward. Oh, you guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.